love Jeremy Corbyn will be joining us, so that's great. Um, okay, I'm just going to start us off straight away here. So, Petra, uh, she's an Afghani activist and writer, and she'll be beginning tonight's meeting. Afghanistan is the second most corrupt country in the world. 
No peace will come after creating a joint government consisting of the Northern Alliance, the Taliban, one with these party and other human rights violators. It will only push Afghanistan towards another civil war. No, peace, peace can only be attained through the, through the prosecutions and punishment of these criminals and nation traitors. Afghanistan is not only looted for its minerals, but recent reports also show an increase in the production of opium and cannabis. So how does opium leave Afghanistan? Someone I spoke to during my last visit to Afghanistan um, told me that his, his friend who works in Kabul International Airport uh, told him that he's witnessed with his own eyes Afghan ministers and US officials exchange bags of money and drugs, shake hands, and then one of them leaves in his expensive car for his house in Kabul and the other one leaves in his private plane back to the West. Civilian death toll also continues to increase. With the latest attacks in Kunal province, which has left nine, nine women and children dead. Around 1,000 Afghan civilians have been killed and 2,000 have been wounded in, in the first half of this year alone by NATO and Taliban, marking a 24% increase in civilian casualties. As well as being attacked during night raids, killed by roadside bombs and suicide attacks, and air raids, Afghans are also under drone attacks. According to a recent report, the British military fired seven, as many, seven times as many drones from an un, unmade drones from up in Afghanistan last year compared to five years earlier in 2008. There is a 27% rise in children casualties. Children are due the 27% rise in children casualties as a result of age strikes killing and maiming of children, sexual violence against children and recurrent attacks on schools and hospitals. In June alone this year, seven children have been killed and four have been injured in Kunal province by an airstrike. Ten children have been killed and nine wounded by a roadside bomb in Paktiar province and nine children have been killed in eastern Afghanistan by a bomb blast. These children are the future of Afghanistan and have been the ones who have been paying the highest price for the so-called war on terror. This war is killing and destroying the future of Afghanistan. Um, I want you to imagine a cycle and place war and occupation at the top of this cycle. War and occupation leading to increased instability to lack of education, poverty, corruption, increase in mental health issues and domestic violence, and death which can occur at each stage of this cycle. It is only by eliminating war and occupation from this cycle that we will slowly start to see improvement in all the areas mentioned. War, occupation and military interventions have never brought peace and justice anywhere in the world, and it's not the answer to freedom and democracy. For the US and its NATO allies, the well-being of the Afghan people has no value. They only want relative stability in order to continue the occupation and maintain military bases in Afghanistan. And also to maintain power and control over Afghanistan's neighboring countries like China, Russia and Iran. But the West also needs to remember that, Af that the Afghans have never and will never accept domination by foreign invaders. There is a reason why Afghanistan is called the graveyard of empires. So my request from you today is to please not allow Afghanistan to become a forgotten war. Please don't let the, the plight of the Afghan women struggling for justice and burning in the fire of the oppression of the occupiers go unheard. Please don't let, let the lives and the names of the children killed as a result of this war on terror go unnoticed. So let's break the cycle of war by saying no to occupation, no to war, and no to Western interventions. Thank you.